what's up and thanks for watching the Electrical Solutions YouTube channel. Today what we're going to do is we are going to hang a 70 inch TV on this wall and also move power from this outlet to behind the TV so you can't see it, it's nice and clean. Uh, so this is an exterior wall to the house. Typically it will have a fire block uh, so the process would be a little bit di different for an interior wall but we will see if it has fire block once we open it up. All right, so here we have the, the bracket for the TV that goes onto the wall. The two brackets that go onto the TV that hook to the bracket that enable it to tilt as it needs to. Here's the screws. They give you a whole bunch for the TV depending on what type of TV it is. Here is the lugs. With anchors, we're gonna go directly into the stud. We're not gonna use the anchors. And then also a, se a securing key with an Allen key. So the first thing we're going to do is find some that to fit into this. Which we're gonna try to make it longer than that. So they, these are going to be the M835 screws. Okay, after uh, finding which screws fit size-wise, meaning thickness, we then need to see which screws are long enough to uh, fit in. We came to the conclusion after trying every one that they wouldn't tighten down, that we will need the spacer, both spacers, on this one as well. So if you see, this has an arrow. The arrow needs to go to the top of the TV. So we, we will use the same space on both places. So I'm gonna go four down from the top, screw him in, and then I'm gonna go the same on the other side. So we'll go four down. We'll then snug these down, snug them down. We don't wanna tighten them too tight because we still have one more step. Just wanna get them tight enough so we can move them just a little bit. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take our tape measure and measure from the edge of it to the very edge of the bracket. Make sure it's the same on the bottom as it is on the top. It is. We're gonna tighten it down both sides because then the TV will sit level. If it's off a little bit, it may not sit level and then you gotta fight with it. Just easier to do it one time this way. 22 and a half, 22 and a half. They're both right on. So we'll tighten them down. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is see how the TV bracket sits. And it's gonna sit like this. So we want to measure now we want to measure from the bottom hole to the bottom of the TV, right? Which is about 14 and a half inches from the center of the bottom hole, excuse me, to the, to the bottom of the TV is about 14 and a half. That's gonna give us our framework for where we're going on the wall. So as you can see, it's all been laid out here. Here's the bottom of the TV. Here's the top of the TV where they want it. They also want it center of the wall. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is find our stud. There's a couple different ways we can do that. We can knock feeling it, or we can take this receptacle off down there and put our screwdriver through to feel. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. And take the cover off. We gotta take this apart anyways. So here, what you wanna do is get the corner of the, past the corner of the box, and as you can see, it stops, because there's a stud there. If I go on the, this side of the box, it goes all the way in. So there is a stud right here. So what we can do to get center of that stud is measure off of the wall and then go 
about three quarters in from the edge. So about 45 is our line where we need to be center on the stud. So in framing, this is a newer house, so it will be from this stud 16 inches over to another stud either way. Unless you're close to a window or an oddball door, that is typically how it's going to work. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to mark 45. And then we're gonna go up 14 and a half from there. And that is where we're going to put the bottom screw into. So the next thing we're going to do is measure the center of the wall, which is actually 91 and a half. So this is close to our center mark. It's actually about here. So with that being, so what we're going, we're, we need to figure out now how we're gonna place it. I like to go stud to stud. I do not like to go with drywall anchors, even though not that bad as long as you catch a stud. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out how far 16 is and if we can make it work with what we have. So if we were to go right there, this would need to be, this hole would need to be the center of where the TV sits. So it's a total of nine and a half inches to that center mark from the edge. That will work. Cause as you can see, nine and a half inches to the center, it's pushed all the way to the edge. We are okay there. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go from here and go 16 over to here. So first thing we're gonna do is mount our screw here. So first thing we're gonna do, drill a hole into our stud here. Just to start a hole. And what we'll do is we'll mount the whole screw, and mount it. Make sure it's nice and level. Which that, oh, doesn't look level because this isn't level. Let me clean all the metal shavings off of my level so it doesn't throw me off. It's perfect. We're thrown off because the tape is crooked. So then from there, we'll measure 16 over, which is gonna be right here. And then we'll go up here, exactly above the other one, and then go here. So we'll drill all those holes now. I said, it's Debbie, son. He loves Miss oh. Cat. Miss, Ka Miss Kathy is his favorite teacher at school. Oh, okay. So he's calling you her. <laughs> so after we drill our first hole, get him tightened down. We drill four other, or the other three holes, 16 on center to the stud, and then we will tighten it down. Now the next thing we're going to look at is where our receptacle can go comparative to our TV, so it's not blocking or it's not uh, in the way. So what we know is we can go in this channel here because of where the outlet is sitting. We know the stud is this way because of our trick and not this way. So it tells me we have 16 inches of space here. 
Typically, if the TV is higher, I like to go on the upside rather than the bottom side of the TV because you can see the wires from the bottom. If it's up high, you, you can put zip ties on it, looks nice and clean. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go above it. We wanna make sure uh, that nothing's gonna be in the way. So our bracket is gonna sit here to be center of the room. So if we look at our TV, that is actually perfect because we plug in our TV with our HDMI over here and our plug in here. So we'll run up over, tie it in, not a big deal. So next thing we're going to do is we're gonna cut in a hole right here. And then we'll find out if we have a fire block and we have to uh, cut a bigger hole. Cavity that we have here, and we're gonna go a little bit to the right because I know the bracket will be right about here and we'll miss it and I like that idea. Plus then we can put our Wi-Fi for our, or our, our Wi-Fi extender up on the back with some sticky tape, make it look nice and clean. So I'll measure this out and I measure the exact profile of the box. And then because of these ears, what I'll do is I'll go a little bit past halfway, measure it out, do the same thing over here, a little bit past halfway, and then we'll cut them out. So the next thing we're gonna do is find how to turn off this circuit. <clears throat> I'm not going to explain that here. I will post another video of showing you how to find that circuit. All right, so the outlet is dead. Now what we're gonna do is remove this other outlet. And inside there's a tab. We are going to bend that tab back so there's a hole and we are going to fish our wire up that hole are you on youtube yeah really that's what i'm trying to do man so you're just gonna put the, the drywall right back to place there yeah you had to do it rip there's no other way you could do it because this fire block here oh, okay. yeah. so it blends in yeah uh, all right <laughs> So we're then going to feed up the wall. If we were to cut it down a little bit more, we could feed into it. And then we'll bring him up. So it's not gonna be that easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our fish stick because it's a little bit more sturdy. Get us right where we need to be. We'll pull him out and we'll tape onto that. All right, so now we will tape the end of this to here. We'll tape onto the stick first because that gives it more And we will pull them up as we feed. So now our wire is where we need to be. Move this over just a little bit. And now we will put in our box. First thing I'll do here, I'll push that tab back. And I will feed my wire through.
put a little bend on it so when it comes in, it'll curve into the box. And we wanna get enough out to make up our makeup nice and easy. Coat is six inches in the back of the box. So, we're actually long. I need a shallow box. So, after tying in our circuit up top, what we're gonna do here is pull down a little bit of the slack, and we're gonna tie our circuit in here. So we have a choice of ways to do this. Typically, I don't like to use the stab ends because eventually they come out, especially with high load. This isn't a high load situation, and if I don't use the stab ends, so what we're gonna do here now is we are going to tie everything together. We could use the stab ends, but I do not like the stab ends. So what we're gonna do is we are actually going to replace this outlet with a different outlet. So we'll twist him nice and tight, cut him off, and pigtail off of him for our ground. Give him a nice twist around. The 14 wire will tighten down really easy actually. So then we're going to push him into the back of the box and we are going to cut all these fairly long, strip all of them out, stripping back about half of an inch or so, depending on how many you have and what you're exactly doing, but in this circumstances, in these, in these circumstances, we're going to peel back about half an inch. And then we're going to take some of this wire and we're going to make leads off of it. This is a commercial type of tie-in. I prefer doing it in all settings just because if you're using the outlet for continuity, especially with the stab ends, what will happen is they will loosen over time and you'll be paying an electrician to come out and fix your problem and usually it involves replacing all the outlets because it's one of those things that's very hard to find. With this way, you can isolate it down to the outlet and the power passes through because if it's using one of these, if the stabbing connector goes bad, depending on which side it is, this outlet may or may not work and it's probably not going to pass power through. And then you have to pay somebody to come out and troubleshoot it. These, from my experience, go bad in about 10 to 15 years. I prefer the screw-on type on the side because it gets you a nice tight connection and it's not so then we'll do the same thing with the white wire. Tighten the wire nuts down so it's twisting the wire. And then what you can do is you can push it inside. You have your feet off, see how they go nice in the box, and it's nice and smooth, and then we will cut these, and we will curl the ends, and you want to make sure that it's wrapping clockwise around the screw, so that when you tighten the screw down, it tightens into itself. And usually what I'll do is I'll take it, pinch it around so I know it's nice and tight. Do my ground. We always, as electricians, we follow 
a hookup procedure. That procedure, do it nice and extra real tight, is going to be your ground, your neutral, and then your hot wire. The ideology behind that is you hook up the ground, it's safe, then you hook up the neutral. Because for next, because you don't want to hook up your, your hot into it because it could be carrying a load on the neutral and that is a bad situation to be in because you can shock you very easily without you being aware. Just a little bit. We'll tighten him down. There we go. And then we'll put a plate back on. I like to use the screws straight up and down. Some people like them side to side. It's all preference. It doesn't really matter as long as it's tight. But I like straight up and down because it looks much cleaner. Then we'll hang the TV. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use the right box. This box is a shallow box and this box is a deep box. Unfortunately, this wall is a little bit shallow and it won't fit, so we need a smaller box, so we're just gonna trade it out for this one. So we're gonna push everything back in. this outlet or this outlet rather than this outlet because the way this fits in there only one can fit this one it'll sit flush against the wall we're good to go Fighting it. 
and they're not touching each other um, when you put it together. Because if your black touches your because if your black touches your ground or your neutral, you have a short and you have a problem. So we will now put in all your power. Okay, so after we get our double sticky tape on, what we will do is we will stick it to the back here. It will stay there, and then we are going to zip tie all these wires nice and clean. All right, we're good to go. It's plugged in, tied in, tied the Wi-Fi. Now we just gotta set it up. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Hello, thank you.